My name is Ashley Bluer. I'm an applications developer at New York Public Library. Before I was working at the University of South Carolina, I was a moving image archivist and metadata cataloging manager, which is a long, uh, complicated title. But essentially, I was an archivist slash librarian. I think I've always been sort of technically oriented, and I wanted to be able to do more and do my job better than I was already doing it. Uh, I was working with a lot of catalog records and doing them one at a time, and there was a sort of ability to like fix things in scripted batches, and after realizing that that was like so easy and possible that it made me want to be able to do even more for um, the kinds of roles and positions that I was working in. I think if you're thinking about learning how to code, one, you should do it, but with the caveat of making sure you really want to do it and it's something you're really passionate about. So I think 100% try it out. I think there's like no harm in trying and it's been incredibly beneficial for me and so many people that I know. Um, but also know that if it's not for you, it's not for you and you don't have to learn how to code. But So well, do it, also maybe don't do it if you really hate it. That's my advice. <laughs> I decided to attend Flatiron School because I was looking around at a lot of the different sort of like boot camp options, mostly because I really wanted to learn things in um, the right way as I was like learning and sort of planning on um, transitioning into more tech oriented uh, focus or field. And uh, Flatiron School is really sort of like building things from sort of starts you at the bottom and like builds you up and sort of you learn everything the right way and the hard way and I really liked and appreciated that so I think that's why I ended up picking uh, Flatiron. My favorite part of attending Flatiron School 100% were the people that I worked with, my other, uh, the rest of my cohort. It's just like so great to be surround all in the same position in the same like space and all like working towards the same goal all day every day uh and really like working together collaboratively i know people who have done other programs or just in general have like been through this process and there wasn't the sort of camaraderie that i was able to experience and i really really appreciate that um so much that we're all like supporting each other and working towards um this one goal together rather than working sort of against each other or trying to like one up each other constantly. So 100% like the people that I worked with cohort Ruby 005. The most important thing that I learned at Flatiron I think was um, learning that it's okay to be wrong. I think so much of programming is sort of trying things out until you get it right, and then knowing that even the people teaching you aren't necessarily going to just whip out this beautiful uh, code the first time perfectly, and you're sort of figuring it out as you go along, I think has really, um, it was definitely the best thing for me. Because I think a lot of people going into, are just people that don't do programming at all, sort of assume that you just like, you write out this perfect poem, and then it becomes a beautiful website rather than having to work through it um, constantly. So yeah, uh, failure is what I learned and, and how failure is okay. When I first graduated Flatiron School, I was interviewing with the New York Public Library and uh, we got you know, pretty far along in the interview process and I ended up being second choice and they hired someone else and so then I ended up working uh, at a different place at a startup. Um, and then after a while, I was sort of feeling like that wasn't the right fit for me. And then I was moving back into sort of doing a lot of archiving work and I was doing um, consulting sort of with it, these new skills that I had developed and I moved from there. And at the same time, uh, New York Public Library got back to me and said, oh, actually we have another job opening and this one, maybe it fits you a little better. Um, and so I, sort of picked up where I left off and then I ended up uh, doing like the final interview and coding challenge there and then they they hired me so it was pretty lucky that this was the first job that I wanted out of Flatiron School and I didn't get it right away but with some time and patience then I ended up getting the job. Now I'm here. <laughs> the biggest surprise that I've encountered is being treated with 
more respect, uh, which I don't necessarily think is fair or warranted, but it's weird how when you're a developer, people really listen to what you have to say and like are like, oh, you're so great at this, even if like I don't necessarily feel like I'm the best developer in the world or anything, but uh, um, it's sort of weird how people like revere you more, and that's been the most surprising thing, so I'm not used to that kind of... Um, attention and I'm used to being like a, a mere librarian <laughs> it's like oh well she reads books I guess you know rather than being like oh she can change my world so that's been the biggest surprise I think um, for people that are looking for a job right now their first tech job I would say it's very hard to stay self-confident when you're going to a bunch of interviews and being asked a lot of questions so just try your best to really uh, feel like you are awesome all the time which I know is hard um, and then my second advice is sort of the advice that Flatiron gave me which is I think you should take the first job that you get offered because things you don't have to be at that job forever it's a big field and you just got to get like start learning as soon as possible and start getting paid well to, to learn more. So my two pieces of advice.